Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to, uh, to show you uh, the third video tutorial of uh, Xamarin Form Apps mobile app, Android app you can say it's a project actually, food, app, food delivery app so in this video tutorial I am going to show you the uh, product controller and in the product controller you can see uh, here we have some action methods like uh, get get by id I mean to say that you can get the product by their id property and product by category id uh, i mean to say that get the product by their category id okay and the next one is popular products so uh, how many products are popular in the uh, um, database and the next one is the post uh, i mean to say that uh, insert the product uh, into the database table a new product will be inserted uh, just after that uh, video will be uh, uh, over okay so and uh, the next one is the how to edit the product details and the next one is the how to delete the products so one by one uh, i'm going to discuss about uh, all these pro uh, action methods the first one is the get uh, action method and in which you can get in, in which you can see that the context dot products and the just uh, written okay message and 201 is created after uh, successfully executed that method okay and the product uh, public product controller uh, initialized with the context class and the only role admin can access that products okay only admin can access that products okay so the next one is uh, get the product by their id property so you can use context.products.find id and just return the ok message with the id property and in which you can add http get uh, with their id property okay the next one is the http get with their action i mean to say that products by category id and the category id is mentioned in the curly brackets like that category id and in the category id you can see that here we have a products and from x x is a variable in the context of products so list of products are there where x dot category id is double equals to category id i mean to say that uh, these are the matched properties and select new uh, in which you can select it like the id title price description category id and image url so these are the product related informations that is getting from the category id only category id we can select it here because uh, in the model folder you can see that here we have a category id in the products so here we go okay so here we have okay so id title uh, price description in category id and image uri by getting um, from the category id in the product table so just return ok message and the next one is the popular products i mean to say that popular products is a uh, product that is is popular product is a uh, true so uh, in the uh, popular products we have uh, a link query that is from x in context dot products where x dot is popular equals to true select new id equals to x dot id title equals to x dot title price equals to x dot price and image uri equals to image uri and return ok the next one is the uh, that is the post action method that is role authorize and http post and here we have uh, http post i mean to say that a new product inserted into the database table so you can use stream class guid property file folder and by using the file help files helper you can just add a new product in into the database table by using their stream folder and files if it is response is uh, not uh, true then return the bad request otherwise a product with the image uh, can insert it into the database table and generate the status code that is 201 okay now the next one is the put action method uh, and only admin can access that uh, put request the next uh, here we have a single id property of the product so using you can use integer id and the from body you can use product if just first of all get the product detail uh, and here we have a entity so entity is directly related to the product so just use context.products.find id entity is double equals to null and return not found product not found okay so the next one is the stream guid file and the folder so these are the fields like the memory stream guid dot guid guid dot jpg www root folder okay so after that the same thing is here when you, when you added a new product 
and after that you can initialize these uh, property one by one in the put request like entity dot category id title image uri price description and each one are edited so product detail updated okay so here we have and the next one is the last one that is the delete by using id property you can delete any product information so the uh, this is the product related information now go for the next one that is the cart that is the cart information so oops it's a model and the cart controller in the cart controller we have some action methods like that first of all uh, show the names just after uh, elaborate one by one okay so uh, in the cart controller we have some action methods like get the card detail by their user id only user can access their own uh, card details okay so here we have and uh, cart controller initialize the context similarly uh, all these controller and in the get action method we have a user id http get so uh, by user id you can get the information from the card by their uh, this syntax context.cartitems.where x.customerid is double equals to user id so in the cart items uh, in the cart items i mean to say that cards we have a customer information so just get the customer uh, just get the cart uh, information by their customer id if it is user is double equals to null then return not found information if it is not their uh, user and it's not their uh, cart information for a particular user then return not found otherwise you just get the cart information by their user id by the link uh, query from a in a context dot cart items dot where x dot customer id equals to user id join this state table with the product information because just i want to get the product information also so join b in context dot products on a dot product id uh, dot equals b dot id i mean to say that b is related to the context dot products and a is related to the cart items so just cross product information so just by using their join pro, uh, join keyword you just both tables are joined on a uh, which reference key is that is the a dot product id and b dot id so product id uh, is actually uh, a reference table or you can say foreign key in the cart items and th that is the primary key in the product table so both are the referenced and join this table and get the information from the table that is id price total amount quantity and the product name okay so by using their bdo title okay so here we have written okay and the cart items will be returned so here we go here we go for the next that is the post action method in the http post action method we have a cart information just i want to add a new cart uh, detail uh, new pro uh, add a new product uh, into the cart so the from body and uh, just first of all get the information of the cart context dot cart items dot first dot default x dot product id equals to cart dot product id and x dot customer id if it is already there then cart is not equals to null i mean to say there if uh, have some um, same the product same product in the cart so just increase the quantity of the cart so cart dot quantity plus uh, quart dot quantity and the cart dot total amount is also uh, uh, increased by their cart dot price multiplied with the cart dot quantity and if it is not there any product in the cart just use a new uh, instance of the shopping cart that is the shopping cart equals to new cart customer id equals to cart dot customer id product id price quantity and total amounts so these are that uh, these are the information which is related to the cart that is newly added product into the cart and cart context dot cart items dot add a new shopping cart so just add a new product into the cart okay just return uh, and the status and generate the status code that is 201 so i hope uh, understand very well the next one is the total items how to calculate the total items uh, which is inserted into the cart so that is a simple query 
uh, based on the user ID just I want to get uh, user their own uh, card details so from the cart in context dot cart items where cart dot customer ID is user ID and select uh, in the table that is cart dot quantity and calculate that quantity in the form of sum so uh, how many uh, how many items in the cart that calculate by using their sum method in the of the link query so after that uh, return okay new total item equals to cart items so just return total items equals to cart items okay here we have a cart item they where we got uh, total number of quantities in the cart okay so the next one is total amount how to get the total amount in the cart so uh, here we have total amount and from cart in context dot cart items where cart dot customer id equals to user id select cart dot total amount and just use a sum method by using there's the sum method you just got total amount of the sum uh, of the total amount and just return the similar with the total items that is the total amount and uh, just return it total amount okay so that's cool the next one is the delete action method here we have a cart equals to context dot cart items dot where x dot customer id equals to user id and also remove the range uh, of the cards detail so here we have a card details and these are the action methods of the card and the last one i will discuss uh, in the next video tutorial that is the orders controller so okay so wait for the uh, next video and please subscribe my channel and uh, and uh, share this video on your uh, social pla uh, social networking platforms thank you very much for watching this video